Are you a new streamer or gamer and you're on Mac? Well, then you have a problem. How do you share your desktop audio or gameplay audio or any audio coming from your computer, laptop, Mac? to your stream. You cannot do this. There is a workaround, but when you share your desktop audio, you block all the other outputs, so you cannot hear anything, so it doesn't work. But this is the only free option, okay? The other options are paid. MacBooks are not perfect for streaming in general, but like, you know, I love them. So what you have to do is you have to use any of the external apps that will allow you to do it. And the one I found based on uh, reviews, it's called the Loop Back. So it cost me one 118.80 dollars. I know it's a lot of money for, you know, already expensive thing to use. However, it's super easy to use and it's super easy to set up. It's literally plug and play. You open the app and it guides you what you have to do. So let me show you how that works. As you can see, I do have different setups for different devices, which then I can select as my audio for I'm using OBS Studio. So this is basically how you can combine it. So right now I have the desktop. This is the name of my um, of my scene. You can say I can also rename this to whatever and QuickTime player. So whatever I play from QuickTime is going to go through this one source. So on the OBS, um, you set it up desktop and you can decide whatever's coming through. So right now I just have the QuickTime player. I do also have streaming on YouTube preset. So basically when I'm streaming on YouTube and I'm playing something from the browser, whether this is the actual YouTube channel or any kind of video that I'm playing via Wi-Fi on the browser. So I call this streaming YouTube and you can add sources. So if you need more sources, click this plus icon and then you have all the sources in terms of audio. And of course, as you can see, I have also Adobe applications. So this is, of course, very needed for my tutorials like now, but all specially Premiere Pro Audition, Premiere Rush, any kind of video editing or audio editing. So my Premiere Audition, um, I have two setups, so Audition and then Premiere Pro as my sources. So you can decide what's coming through. So this is great because, for example, system, uh, you know, system sounds, this is part of the desktop audio, but you can filter those out, right? So like literally you decide specifically based on the application what is coming through your audio. So when you're streaming, you don't want any unwanted noises um, and sounds. And of course, if you're playing the game, it's the same principle. So, and I have special one for Spotify. For some reason, I have Premiere Pro here in this preset. So I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to menu and I'm going to delete this source. Okay. So you can have as many sources of audio as, as you want, and then you can just create your scenes in OBS and select like, okay, which one I'm going to use for what, right? And which one, which one I'm going to mute and so on. And how do you even like add a workspace or the audio input? You go all the way down and you click on new virtual device. Okay. And then you have the new preset. So basically you rename this. So this could be whatever from like Premiere Rush and then click on the applications. And if you don't see it in the menu, then you go select application. You choose application from that. So I'm just gonna go to ba -ba 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 -ba, rush, open, rush application in, and now I have Premiere Rush. So if I open Premiere Rush and I don't want, I wanna filter input for my recording in OBS or streaming for just for Premiere Rush, this is literally, I'm going to enable just Premiere Rush and nothing else is going to be in my recording. So like this is really helpful and really handy for streamers, tutorials makers, YouTubers, gamers. So, I mean, I know it's cost $118, but it gives you like a really flexible options of what you can do with it and you have the license forever. So, I mean, why not? I know it's not fair, you know, like, haha. <laughs> I've seen uh, some different basically apps that you can use a bit cheaper, but I have seen like this is like the most reliable, most user friendly and the most like flexible one. So why not go for the best guys? Honestly, if you found this video helpful, 
I want you to subscribe, okay? Like at least it's common decency, you know. If you have any que- <laughs> if you have any questions, comment below. Um, I'm gonna answer all of it and check out my social media, check out the thanks button under this video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.